right, how's it going? This is Andrew from Node Island. We are here today to build a client-facing scheduler inside of Google Sheets. Um, so basically I keep running into this problem where I have a client who wants to have a certain amount of control over the installation and um, it's always a little bit dicey because you let them into the touch designer projects and they can kind of screw things up and the at least the clients that I have uh, are generally corporations and have turnover so when someone new gets hired they have to get trained and it just winds up being a really really big problem so I came up with this technique um, basically using a Google Sheet uh, and then splitting the time into um, increments. Here I'm using 10 minute increments, but it could really be anything. And then creating drop down menus um, for all of your shows. And once it's in Touch Designer, you can interpret that drop down menu kind of any way you really want. But, you know, for now I'm going to do something very simple. Um, okay, so. Uh, uh, let's delete this. Let's delete this. So I've created a new Google Sheet and I'm going to start with 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 10. It's going to know that this is the time uh, and then we can just extend this down and it should run on a 24 hour clock, which is okay. On my B column, this is where we're going to have all of our um, our options. So this could be a preset, or depending on how you roll it, you could have a, a few different options for each time. You know, a color palette, a pattern, a movie, a interaction device, I don't know, whatever. Um, so the way that I roll this is uh, come down here to conditional formatting, no, excuse me, come down here to data validation, and then we can uh, have a list of items, and I'm just going to do one, two, three, one comma, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and uh, save that here. Now you'll notice that we have a drop down menu over here with all of our options. Um, the time at the moment is 9.26, so I'm going to come down here to 9.20 and add a few options here. Okay, great. All right, so now we have to get all of this information into Touch Designer, and basically what we're going to do is index through all of these cells based on what time it is. So at this time, we're going to read this um, this row, and then we're, we're going to get this. OK, so um, what we have to do now is uh, come down to File, Share, and then we're going to go Publish to the web. And what this is going to do is uh, it'll bring up this publish to the web page. We can create a link or uh, get some embed code. We're going to create a link, do the entire document, and we're going to publish it as comma separated values. <clears throat> we also have to make sure that automatically republish when changes are made is ticked on. We're going to click publish, click OK. What we wind up with is this. Um, this uh, hyperlink and or URL and we're going to copy that and now we can bring this into Touch Designer. All right, so inside Touch Designer we need to come over to our DATS and create a web client and then over in the URL we can paste our link there and we need to <clears throat> have a get request and then need to make sure that the header is not included in the output. And if we click request, we should wind up with all of our data. Um, okay, 
So, uh, yeah, here we have our our 930, 940, etc. Okay, so what we can now do is um, we need to turn this into a table. So we're going to use a convert and we're going to convert it to a table. We're going to use commas. And now we need to uh, use a select in order to select a specific row. So here we can select by index and then we can actually grab the index and bring it back down over here. Okay. All right. Now we can see we can kind of scrub through our uh, indexes. Excuse me, our, uh, our rows. All right, so in order to um, get this on a schedule, we need to get a clock. And we're going to take the lowest common denominator of our hours and minutes. So we want to um, select our hour and our minute, and we're going to multiply our hours by 60. Um, so this is the total number of minutes in 21 hours. Um, and then we're going to uh, add these two together. And we need to then divide by the uh, our increment. So we're doing 10 minute increments. So I'm going to give this a 10, and then we're going to divide. So we have 129.1, so it's 9.30 here in our uh, spreadsheet. Oh, because it's PM and we're on a 24 hour, that we're actually going to be down here somewhere. So. Um, Let's see, 2132 is right around here, which is 130. Um, if we want to get rid of the uh, decimal place, we can do the ceiling, and now we're at 130. So 2130, and we're looking at that correct cell. <clears throat> so I can go into my schedule um, because I just messed that up. Uh, and we're actually down here at 2130. I want to get some data in over here. So there we go. All right. So um, in order to grab that, I'm going to need to come back into my touch designer project generally like give it a couple of minutes, but um, I'm gonna hit request and hopefully that will show up there. Yeah, here we go. All right, now what we can do is simply hook up our, uh, our math over here to control our start row index. And there we've got it, 2140 is our three and 2140 is our three, right? Uh, this might actually want to be, this actually is going to be one of you on the floor, I think. I don't think that that would be better. Yeah, so this is our four. We're at uh, 9.33 or 21.30, and that's going to be our four. Okay. Um, we can select just the first index there, and we get it. And then we can 
you know, use that to control whatever you want. So a very simple example might be um, if we have <coughs> a switch that has a few different inputs. We can come over here and then uh, just reference that cell. And we're selecting our fourth input here. Um, I'm not going to wait another uh, six minutes, but in six minutes, we're going to go on to our next cell. So that would be a three, and we would be seeing our, uh, our light green over here. So anyway, I hope that this was really helpful for you. Um, smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, and I'm going to be putting together more of these sorts of tutorials, generally like very particular and uh, not aesthetically pleasing, but very useful. So stay tuned. Um, thanks for watching, and I will uh, see you later.